Manufacture of bricks. The following operations involved in manufacturing of bricks. 1. Dot prepaste ton of brick earth. 2. Molding. 3. Drying. 4. Burning. Preparation of brick earth. The following sequence of operations involved in preparation of brick earth. 1. Unsoiling. 2. Digging. 3. Weathering. 4. Blending. 5. Tempering. Preparation of brick earth unsoiling. The soil used for making building bricks should be processed so as to be free of gravel, coarse sand, practical size more than 2 mm, lime and conker particles, organic matter, etc. About 20 cm of the top layer of the earth, normally containing stones, pebbles, gravel, roots, etc., is removed after clearing the trees and vegetation. Preparation of brick earth digging. After removing the top layer of the earth, proportions of additives such as fly ash, sandy loam, rice husk ash, stone dust, etc. should be spread over the plain ground surface on volume basis. The soil mass is then manually excavated, puddled, watered and left over for weathering and subsequent processing. The digging operation should be done before rains. Preparation of brick earth weathering Stones, gravels, pebbles, roots, etc. are removed from the dug earth and the soil is heaped on level ground in layers of 60 to 120 centimeters. The soil is left in heaps and exposed to weather for at least one month in cases where such weathering is considered necessary for the soil. This is done to develop homogeneity in the mass of soil, particularly if they are from different sources, and also to eliminate the impurities which get oxidized. The soil should be turned over at least twice and it should be ensured that the entire soil is wet throughout the period of weathering. In order to keep it wet, water may be sprayed. Preparation of brick earth, blending. The earth is then mixed with sandy earth and calcareous earth in suitable proportions to modify the composition of soil. Moderate amount of water is mixed so as to obtain the right consistency for molding. The mass is then mixed uniformly with spades. Addition of water to the soil at the dumps is necessary for the easy mixing and workability, but the addition of water should be controlled in such a way that it may not create a problem in molding and drying. Excessive moisture content may affect the size and shape of the finished brick. Preparation of brick earth. Tempering. Tempering consists of kneading the earth with feet so as to make the mass stiff and plastics. It should preferably be carried out by storing the soil in a cool place in layers of about 30 cm thickness for not less than 36 hours. Tempering is done in pug mills and the operation is called pugging. The yield from a pug mill is about 1500 bricks. Molding. It is a process of giving a required shape to the brick from the prepared brick earth. Molding may be carried out by hand or by machines. Drying. Green bricks contain about 7 to 30 percent moisture depending upon the method of manufacture. The object of drying is to remove the moisture to control the shrinkage and save fuel and time during burning. Clay products can be dried in open air dryers or in artificial dryers. The artificial dryers are of two types, the hot flow dryer and the tunnel dryer. Burning. The burning of clay may be divided into three mere stages. One. Dehydration period this is also known as water smoking stage. 2. Oxidation period. Right. 2. Oxidation period. 3. Vetrification. To convert the mass into glass-like substance. Burning of bricks is done in a clam or kiln. A clam is a temporary structure whereas kiln is a permanent one. Thank you.